With sparkling snow, happy holidays, and cozying up by the fire, winter has a magic all its own. But despite all the romantic things about the season, it can sometimes wear us out. Even the biggest fans of winter can only take chapped lips and less sun for so long. Therefore, the winter is a great time to travel sunny beaches and tropical islands offer a seasonal escape, and hotel and flight prices tend to drop as the weather gets colder. So, you're in luck if you like white sand more than a white Christmas. Today in this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 best warm places to travel in winter. But before we begin our countdown, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon as well. So let's get started. Number 10. Hamilton, Bermuda Bermuda is like a quick trip to the Caribbean, with its pink sand beaches, colorful colonial towns, and crystal caves. Prices drop a lot during the shoulder season, when temperatures are still in the 70s, and it's only a two-hour flight from the East Coast. The Hamilton Princess and Beach Club is the place to stay. It just got a $100 million makeover from top to bottom, and it has a brand new spa, the island's only celebrity chef restaurant, Marcus, and an impressive art tour of more than 60 contemporary works by artists like Andy Warhol, Jeff Koons, and Nelson Mandela. But stop at Art Mel's for fresh fish sandwiches with coleslaw, hot sauce, and raisin bread, and at Meltdown for a spiked rum swizzle ice cream cone. This will give you more time to explore the small town of Hamilton. Then look around the neighborhood boutiques. At Tabs, you can get real Bermuda shorts, and at Isolated Surfboards, you can get a hand-carved surfboard. Number 9. Panama City Panama City is a cosmopolitan center with buildings from the 18th century, world-class art, tropical rainforests, and lots of different places to eat. Visit the beautiful Bioucio, which was designed by Frank Gehry, or the Miraflores Locks, where you can see how the Panama Canal works. You can also hike to the top of Cerro Ancon, a 654-foot hill with a view of the city. The American Trade Hotel is a collaboration between the Ace Hotel Group and the Conservatorio in Panama City. It is in a neoclassical building from 1917 in the historic, quickly changing neighborhood of Casco Viejo, where you can walk to some of the best bars and restaurants in the city. But if you'd rather stay close to home, the hotel has a jazz club, a pool on the roof, and a trendy bar that well-off expats like to go to. Number 8. Negril, Jamaica Jamaica is the perfect place to go for a weekend trip because the beaches look like they belong in a postcard. The people are friendly, and it's easy to get there. Kingston and Ocho Rios are full of tourists and cruise ships. Instead, you should go to Negril a quiet beach town on the island's western tip. If you want to splurge, go for the five-star cliffside rooms at the Caves or Rock House Hotel. When you get hungry, you can eat jerk chicken or lobster cooked over an open fire while listening to live reggae at a place called Three Dives. Then spend your afternoons at Seven Mile Beach next to the turquoise water with a red stripe in hand. Number 7. Palm Springs, California Palm Springs has been a popular place for Los Angelenos to go on the weekend when they need some sun and rest. But the stylish desert oasis has more to offer than just great weather. It has beautiful scenery, architecture that says, kitsch is cool, a thriving food scene, and boutique hotels. The El Horizon Hotel, which was designed by William F. Cody and looks like a time capsule of mid-century style, used to be a hangout for Hollywood stars like Marilyn Monroe and Betty Grable during the golden age of Hollywood. Mix a drink in your large room, which has clean lines and high-end vintage furniture, and then soak up some sun in the hotel's sparkling infinity edge pool. The nearby aerial tramway is a great way to get a sense of the area. It's an 11-minute cable car ride that goes a half mile up the sheer face of Mount San Jacinto. If that makes you feel queasy, we recommend strong drinks and new Mediterranean food at the Purple Palm. Number 6. Kauai, Hawaii A warm weather vacation doesn't have to mean just lying around on the beach or by the pool. If you'd rather get outside and move around, you could go to Kauai. Kauai is the oldest and greenest of the islands. It has tall cliffs, deep valleys, 
gushing waterfalls and green hills, making it a great place for people who love the outdoors. Take a Blue Hawaiian helicopter tour of the Waimea Canyon to get a bird's eye view of the beautiful island. Then hike the 11-mile Kalala Trail along the rough cliff tops for a closer look. You'd rather feel the wind in your hair? Choose a thrilling sailboat ride around the Nepali coastline, a majestic set of valleys, fluted walls, and sheer ridges that rise thousands of feet from the Pacific. The lodge at Kukuyula is a group of cottages with two or three bedrooms on a 1,000-acre resort community on the South Shore. Number 5. Martinique you should travel to the French Caribbean island of Martinique if your concept of a fantastic holiday in warm weather involves delicious meals and beaches covered in white sand. The lovely island is influenced culturally by the French in terms of its cuisine, traditions, and aesthetic, and it shares many of the Caribbean's stunning natural features. Explore Martinique's lively and picture postcard perfect capital, Fort de France. Make a photo op out of its walkways that are framed by palm trees, its restaurants that are perched on the lake, and its colorful residences that have balconies overflowing with flowers. Bring your appetite to the huge covered market Chez Carole, where you can look at the fruit and homemade rum, and then go to the market's namesake restaurant, where you can eat the country's famous codfish fritters, coconut chicken, and tender stewed octopus. The market is named after Carole, the owner of the market. You will be staying in one of the ultra-luxurious villas at La Cap Ace Lagoon Resort and Spa, which is Martinique's most exclusive resort and features an idyllic location on the sea's edge in addition to a comprehensive selection of aquatic activities. Number 4. Tenerife, Canary Islands, Spain Beachgoers, the Canary Islands are owned by Spain, and Tenerife is the largest of the Canary Islands. It stretches over 42 kilometers and features some of the finest sand in the entire globe. Alcala Beach and Los Gigantes Beach are two of the most beautiful beaches in Tenerife and Red Level at Gran Melia Palacio de Isora. Tenerife is conveniently located near both of these beaches. It is also an excellent location to stay in for day trips to Tide National Park, which is filled with craters, volcanoes, and lava that has hardened into rock. Stop at Haiti for a one-of-a-kind dish like beet creamy rice, olive octopus risotto, or spicy tuna tartare with cherry sorbet in between swims in the North Atlantic Ocean and drives across the snow-covered summits of Mount Tade. Number 3. Havana, Cuba When you get in Cuba, you are going to be thirsty for something to drink. Visit Hemingway's favorite bar. Floridita, which is located at the intersection of Obispo and Montserrat streets, there is a restaurant called La Cocina de Liliam that serves dinner. It is a lovely family-run patio restaurant with Cuban specialties such as arroz con palo, fried green plantains, and tres leches cake. President Jimmy Carter has dined at this place. The Hotel Florida is a magnificent colonial boutique hotel not far from Plaza de Armas, Havana's oldest center. The ground floor features a light-filled courtyard that is surrounded by 25 guest rooms and has a glass roof that can be opened up. Number 2. Key West, Florida There is a very good reason why Florida is one of the most desirable states in which to spend a winter vacation in the United States. The state is known for its beautiful beaches, which can be found along both the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. However, rather than staying in Fort Lauderdale or South Beach, you should consider staying at the Ocean Key Resort and Spa. This resort features sophisticated island-themed decor and is near Old Town, Mallory Square, and Key West Harbor. The best places to dine, buy, and drink can be found along the 1.25-mile stretch of Duval Street that runs through the middle of downtown Key West. There is direct access to the location from the lobby of the hotel. If you're feeling peckish, head on over to Louis' Backyard, a Caribbean-American eatery located in a Victorian house that overlooks the water and is decorated like a cafe. It should come as no surprise that all of their most popular meals are seafood preparations, such as cracked conch served with mango chutney and sauté golf shrimp. Number 1. Capo San Lucas, Mexico 
Capo San Lucas is only a 2.5-hour flight from Los Angeles, making it easy to get to and giving it an exotic feel during the winter months in the United States. Even though there are many luxurious hotels in the 20-mile stretch between Cabo San Lucas and San Jose del Capo, where stars like Jennifer Lopez, Cameron Diaz, and George Clooney have stayed. Our favorite place to sleep is the very romantic Esperanza Resort. The private casitas, suites, and villas are hidden between cliffs on the Beja Peninsula. They are decorated in the traditional Beja style with handcrafted Mexican furniture and beds with soft linen canopies. Wild Canyon ATVing is a great way to get your blood pumping if you need a break from lying on the beach. With your own ATV and a personal guide, you'll drive on trails that take you from barren desert views to beaches along the Sea of Cortes. In town, eat dinner at Los Tres Gallos, an authentic Mexican restaurant off Capo's Strip that serves great pozole, mole enchiladas, and tamarind margaritas in an outdoor courtyard. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.